What is going on everybody? Tonight we are gonna try capturing some underwater eats with the Garmin Live Scope. Stay tuned. Hello, hello, hello. We got audio, that's perfect. Check, check, check. What do you think, Ski? Looking for, that's, that's about perfect speed. Not terrible. Everything between 20 and 25. Yeah. Okay. 25, 20, 15, do like something like that. Oh, Tony, we're back out in the boat again. It's been a while. Oh, uh, well, it's been. Since July, right? No, October. Die, that's right. BBD. October. I had one day after, last time I was in the boat was almost with you. I had one day outside of you. All right, we got everything set up. Well, my side's set up. Tony's lagging behind a little bit, but we're gonna be running boards here tonight. We've got offshores on each side. Once that sun gets a little lower in the sky up there, all of a sudden these boards are just gonna start dumping back. We're gonna catch some fish, pal. I love it. It'll be an interesting one. Middle board, middle board, middle board, middle board. Yeah. Did you grab that first one? Thank you for the honors, my friend. You reel that fish in. How's this fish feeling, Tony? It's feeling lovely. Cody first is one my of first one of the year, too. First time in the boat, early. Catching them before dark, I like it. Different strat. Some shoulders, maybe, or nah? Yeah. Uh, like, big Trying to learn these new rods. They are nice. It feels, uh, I feel like I just have to tighten the drag a little, but yeah, it's not. Oh yeah, that's a good one. It's not tiny. <laughs> Shoot, maybe I should have grabbed the big net. Oh, you're... Yeah, just bring it up over on, on this left side of me. Tony, it's a I big one. I would say it's, it's weighty. No, we're so close now, I think we just... Oh, go golly, ahead and it's that's a good one. It's a large head. Maybe I could just slow us down a touch here. How about that? We should definitely try to land this one, Cody. Yeah, I mean, we're getting close. I'd like to get our hands on it. We're gonna get them right here, though. Straight up. We got him. We got him. Wow, uh, we was. <laughs> That's a good first fish of the year for you, huh? <laughs> uh, I don't, you know, so I'm gonna tell you a little story. About a week and a half ago when we were doing some film work up on Gogebic, and the last fish I caught through the ice was a sucker. A sucker? And that was like the story of my year on ice everybody's year right the yeah. winter that never was yeah the winter that never was so i was like what is that going to mean for my oh. for my open water season well it and doesn't I would mean say, anything terrible i would say i would say that season's over and now it's open water we well, should definitely put a measurement on that just to see yep. exactly what it is it's a little beat up yeah look at that tail almost, you see the tail yeah what are you guessing i'm guessing just touching 28 maybe that's about what i was gonna say yeah, you called it, Cody. Look at that. Yep, well, uh, 28 and a half, maybe? Yeah, we're gonna call her 28 and a half, almost 29. That's a good start to the night. It's a good start to the open water season. There she goes. Heck yes. Awesome. What was, what was that on? What was that on? You don't want to know. <laughs> you sniper you it with my blue crumb. <laughs> well, he gave me the fish anyway. That's a friendship right uh, there. Oh, heck yeah. That was awesome. I don't know where your camera's at, but you want to tell us what's going on here? Is that well, one of those coming? Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, no, we're on. Uh, oh, that's weird. We're just, we're working on this. Uh, hmm. On a net sponsorship? Yeah. Seems like that could potentially be. be in the works, but uh, yeah. <laughs> How ironic is it that the very, very, very first fish, which the net did land, <laughs> also got snagged in the crank. Well, we're all set up here. You guys can see, I got the GoPro running on the unit, and that right there is our bait. We got it about 15 feet behind that board. It's running about five or six feet down. We're, we're gonna be running pretty shallow tonight, so that's gonna work out perfectly. We already had a few fish follow it. Super pumped to be able to capture something coming up and hitting that hopefully a little bit later. Right now they just don't seem too interested, but as soon as that sun goes down, things just get hectic. So that's what we're gonna be running tonight. We're gonna be rolling this pretty much all night and hopefully we get some pretty cool footage. But yeah, nice 28 and a half inch fish in the boat already. And I think things are only gonna get better. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh, what? He's it's still, right it's still Zach, yeah, 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 yeah. That was sick. Was the GoPro recording? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. He came up after it fast. Yeah. That was nuts. Right off the side of the boat. It freaking worked. <laughs> That's sick. Just switched yep. over to some shorter trolling rods. Mainly because when we're out here, the guy that's running the rod, I want him to be able to kind of see what's going on. And uh, having the shorter trolling rods is just keeping everything a little bit closer to the boat. That one came on pink lemonade. Got him, Tony? Yep. We just successfully watched a fish eat our crankbait while trolling on live scope. Oh, quick race. Popped out. Real? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, right there. Gorgeous looking walleye again, not a tank. Hopefully we get some bigger ones to munch on live scope a little later tonight as it starts getting darker, but that was freaking cool. Awesome. Were you watching it? Did you see it? Oh yeah, it came up in hand and then the board sick. went. Battery just died. That was freaking awesome. Yes. Let's get a tank to do that now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right over them. Big ends. Come Watch on. Follow it. <gasps> oh, he's on it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> Here you go, Tony. Take it. No, take it, buddy. Take it. Take it. Oh, That's a good one. That's a good one. That looked like a big mark. That was awesome. Yeah, well, look at that board. It's chomping <laughs> that board. Oh, it went right over top. Dude, two of in a row. That was so sick. On the scope ski. Feels a little better than the last one. I don't think it's like an absolute tank, but that's just still so much it fun It looked to like watch. a good mark. Sometimes these big ones, though, they 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 don't fight quite as hard as the small ones do, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, no, this one does feel better. I'm gonna grab that, buddy. Oh, I can see him on the live scope unit right now. Look at him. <laughs> Is he coming in the side or the back? He's coming up the side. He's right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, not bad. It's a nice mid-20s one, buddy. Not a tank. Probably a good 23-inch or maybe. But watched it eat on the live scope unit. It's super neat. It's like this fish just came up, followed that bait for like two seconds, and then ate it. And what we've been noticing, actually, I slowed down a little bit. We had a few fish come up, follow it, follow it, follow it, and then turn off. So I ended up slowing the boat down a little bit. As soon as I did that, we got those two fish to eat right away. And <laughs> dude, it's something else watching them eat on live scope. That is so cool. But we're gonna get this guy back. We're still chasing after some giants. It's not even, I mean, it's not even that prime time yet. It, the sun is literally just set. It's starting to get dark. The next couple of passes we do are gonna be something special, but there's a ton of walleyes out here right now. Perfect time to catch some fish using Garmin Live Scope. Another awesome one though. Gorgeous Green Bay fish right there. There she goes. That's two fish on the Live Scope. That's exactly what we came out here to do. The wind is calming down. It's gonna be a beautiful night, Tony. It's gonna be gorgeous. Let's rattle some more. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, buddy. Oh, oh my goodness. We are hooked up. I gotta make sure I keep the bolt kind of straight here. Ooh, ooh, double, double, yes, double. Yes, we are doubled. Oh, this is gonna be, this is always interesting yeah, in the evening. <laughs> Why don't I, uh... No, you, you should grab that one. Yeah, this seems substantial. Yep. Okay. So what do you want to put on the outside boards? Uh, well, nothing. <laughs> you just, sometimes <laughs> you just gotta threaten them a little bit. You just gotta start complaining and then stuff. Stuff starts going your All way. All of a sudden, you just get random doubles. One How big is yours? Not big. I'm just gonna try to get them up here. It's weird because there's still weight there, but it definitely it's come. It didn't stay back, right? Yep. Obviously. Okay. First fish is in the boat. Munched that P10. We'll get that one back. Not a giant. See ya. We'll just Should we boat flip the daily double? Maybe. Did that come on, Cody? Ooh. Pink lemonade. That's number two of the double. We're gonna go ahead and get that guy back because we're all tangled up here. Peace out there, guy. All right, cool. Well, that is the daily double for the day. We're gonna go ahead 
get everything set back up here, get on the right path again, maybe put another double in the boat, who knows? So when you're trolling at night in the spring, there's a lot of different types of baits that you can run that have different actions, um, that maybe are different sizes. And uh, tonight I'm just gonna run you through a couple of the baits that we've been using out here that actually work really well for us. Obviously this one right here has been the tried and true. The Perfect 10 is something that a lot of people run this time of the year. It's got that slow, subtle action. It's gonna dive a little deeper, um, but it is, uh, again, one of those stick baits that's gonna work really well in this cold water. This one you can notice has a different type of bill on it. It's more of a rounded bill. This is actually a Salmo Wacky. And then right here we have Rapala's version of that, which is the Scatter Wrap. This type of presentation is gonna have a little, little more of a subtle wobble to it rather than like a back-to-back -back motion. Um, this one it's just gonna kind of wobble in the water it's gonna have a really like creepy motion in the water that's just it, it's something different something that the fish might not be seeing so a couple of different styles again when it comes to the bill on the stick baits uh, some other baits that we've been using that work out here again stick bait style uh, the Rapala Husky Jerks is another great option that's gonna be a little similar to that P10 um, just in action it's just not gonna dive quite as deep as those perfect tens are but this is another great option for this time of the year and last but not least is something that's kind of worked its way up the ranks the last year here and that is the Berkeley hit stick. Uh, we've ran a couple of these trolling. We also use them casting at night too as well, especially in the Fox River. This is a very good bait to run as well. There's a lot of different color schemes and a lot of different sizes that work really well for the certain times of year. We actually find ourselves using this bait right here a lot in the fall, but these are just some great options that you can use when you're night trolling, whether it's in the fall or even the spring uh, that are gonna help you put a lot more fish in the boat. Getting closer to the size we need, Tony. Hey, my demo is just chunky. There she goes. Something to be said about the walleyes that you're catching when you're hand landing. Freaking walleye that big. <laughs> It's a chunky one. <laughs> Dude, it's like a large mouth. Freaking fat. What the hell? That is a pre spawn mama right there, if I've ever seen one. We didn't even put her in the net because I didn't think it was that big. And then I grabbed her all of a sudden. It was like, ooh, maybe we should have grabbed a net for that one. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get her put back into the water. What a fish. She's not that long, probably only 25 inches, but I bet she's going six pounds. <laughs> That's a tank. She's all ready to go. There she goes. Awesome. Man getting late we're still waiting for that uh that real big mama to hit did our outside board get hit or has it always been like that mm, no i think that's hit yeah i don't know it's been a crazy night this I, this video is kind of all over the place we've caught fish here we've caught fish there we've got a lot of fish in the boat probably what 17 18 maybe 20 now i'd say yeah i don't know we got a lot of fish in the boat so we're gonna keep going i mean it is about 11 o'clock right now we're gonna finish out this pass and maybe make one more on the way back hopefully get something in that I don't know, maybe even pushing 30 would be sweet but it's been a really good night uh, if you guys are interested in getting out here on a trip like this i am running guide trips this spring um, right now is a really good time to get out all of april is always a really great time so if you guys are interested in getting out here doing exactly this i'll leave my information down below i am running guide trips out here we'll get you out have a ton of fun and catch some awesome fish Well, as you guys can tell, we just got to boat back on the trailer. Tonight was an absolutely awesome night. I'd say we had a banger night. Banger. We got some fish eating on live scope. We caught a ton of fish. Even got some big girls in the boat too. I do want to say thank you guys so much for all the support that you gave me on the video that I posted a few weeks ago about the live scope questionnaire. Uh, we got a ton of positive comments on there. I actually just posted it tonight. Uh, I was reading some of the comments through while we were while we were fishing. I was just humbled by uh, the amount of people that support me and what I'm doing here on this channel and I do want to let you guys know to make sure that you are paying attention to that questionnaire I believe they are doing the hearings like April 6th or 7th or something so pay attention to that if you guys are interested in checking any of that stuff out basically every county in Wisconsin is going to be having a hearing I believe it's like April 6th or 7th and then a few days later that online questionnaire is going to go live you're going to be able to voice your opinions online too as well if you can't actually make it to those hearings so I I believe as anglers um, of Wisconsin it's super important that we take part 
important that um, kind of voice our opinions and make sure that we're being heard. That being said, we're going to go ahead and get everything packed up here. It was an awesome night. We're going to get some sleep, probably head out on Green Bay tomorrow to do a little bit of casting. Tony hasn't got out to do any casting yet on the open water, and I know he is just itching at the bit to get some long rods bent. So I think that's going to be the plan for tomorrow. But thank you guys again so much for tuning into today's video. As always, keep living your dream, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.